Hey everyone, thanks for trying to learn to play games. My name is Lance, and in today's video, we'll look at another enemy pack for Shadows of Brimstone, which is the Ancient Horrors. So for those of you out there that have always wondered what it would be like to go up against a group of tentacles uh, that are packed together, now is your opportunity, as this is going to take those tentacles that you've known and loved from the different packs and group them together into a single enemy that you're going to be facing. So these enemies are going to be great for low level heroes as this are going to be kind of like one step up from some of your basic enemies you're going to be facing in the core game. And these will provide a little bit more variance, but also a little bit of a, an extra challenge against some of your low level heroes that will give them a good test for things to come until they get into some of the nastier enemies that are out there. So with these enemies, they are going to also have your, your heroes tackling some different things where if you pack your heroes in and keep them tight as you usually do with, with your low level heroes, potentially, these enemies are going to be a nightmare as they can hit all heroes that are, that are packed into tight spaces, where if you spread your heroes out, you're going to be able to hopefully deal with these enemies a little bit easier. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at what is included in this pack as well as going over the enemy record sheet as there aren't any new rules introduced in this. There, this will be a very short video. But let me know in the comments down below what else you want to see if you want to see anything else around this enemy pack or if there's other enemy packs that you would like to see coverage on or if there's other things that I can include in these videos that you might find a little bit more helpful as well as I'm always looking to make the best possible videos and Channels of Brimstone is still one of my favorite games. I love to hear from you and start a conversation. And let me know what you would like to see around these guys as well. Or if these videos are good and you just want to see more, let me know that as well. So as always, if you find my videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow, be able to produce this content. If you want to stay up to date on all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I drop new stuff. And I have a lot of Shadows of Brimstone videos coming, so if you're interested in those, definitely give that notification bell a ring so you're always up to date on whenever I drop some new stuff. So let's head to the table and we'll see what this enemy pack's all about. This is a smaller enemy pack that is going to include one large enemy record sheet for the Ancient Horrors, a data sheet that is going to have a little bit of flavor text on it, as well as some information about the Ancient Horrors, and on the back is going to be a painting guide. You're going to get six new threat cards for your threat deck, including two low level, two medium, and two high, as well as the two ancient horror figure sets. So you'll have three tentacles that you'll attach to each one of the large bases. The first thing we'll look at are the enemy record sheets. So as usual, you're going to have one large enemy record sheet that is going to be double-sided, with one side having the basic side, the other side being the brutal side. With Ancient Horrors, they are going to be basically a one step up from your basic enemy types and are going to provide low level heroes with a little extra challenge. So with these guys, they are an extra large enemy and are going to have an initiative of two with a few abilities that are going to make them unique. First off, they cause terror, which as usual, any hero that starts on the map tile on the same map tile is going to take one horror hit at the start of their activation. They also have Smash, which means that to hit rolls of 6 are going to ignore Hero's defense. Then they have two special things that are going to impact how they move and their combat. So the first is the Flailing Tentacles. So with this one, they're going to be making rolls at a 3 combat attack against each hero, or every hero, within 3 spaces. So if your heroes are tightly grouped together, these guys are going to cause you all kinds of problems. So definitely spread out. Next, you're going to have their special movement, which is Eruption from Below. This enemy does not move normally. Instead, at the start of its activation, you're going to roll a d6. And on a 4+, plus, or automatically if there are no heroes within 3 spaces, it's going to immediately reposition as if an ambush attack, though it is not going to gain the plus 2 initiative. And a quick reminder, with an ambush attack, that basically means the enemy is going to randomly select a hero and place that figure next to that hero. So these guys are just going to pop up anywhere around the heroes and are going to cause all kinds of mayhem. From there, moving down to its stats, it's going to have a standard melee attack of 4+, plus for its to hit rolls, and is going to do 3 damage per successful hit, minus any modifiers that the heroes have. Over to its health, it has 18 hit points, so it's going to take a little while to chew through with a defense of 2, so it's going to negate a third of all damage coming towards it unless you get lucky with some criticals. 
And then finally, it's going to be worth 10 experience points plus an additional five. From there, then it has its elite chart, which is going to provide all kinds of additional nastiness to this enemy, including Entangle, which is going to have any hero wounded by the Ancient Horror may not move during their next activation, or Raving, which is going to add plus one defense, and Tough, which makes it immune to critical hits. Biting Seekers, the Ancient Horror, combat hits are now plus two damage, so it's going to do five damage per hit as opposed to three, making it really nasty with that. It's Lashing Strike, Ancient Horrors are now flailing tentacles on five, and the Rumbling Ground, plus two initiative and plus five health. So all kinds of nasty abilities for its elite chart as well. Well, I hope you found this video helpful in deciding whether or not this enemy pack is one you'd like to add to your games of Shadows of Brimstone. Again, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you want to see around this pack, or if you would have any other suggestions or video requests. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.